Hello, this is Dr. Tom with a uh, presentation on NCES problem number 30. Now, as you go through uh, each week in the course, you will be um, assigned uh, several uh, NCES problems, and uh, most of them will not have any uh, issue with their solution, but uh, uh, some may have a, I may have give a comment to the, uh, the one page that's uh, provided, uh, but uh, most uh, do not um, uh, deserve a uh, full presentation, as we're going to do here with problem number 30. So uh, this particular one is on uh, conservation of energy, in particular, the Bernoulli equation for uh, ideal flow. So uh, let's get started. Okay, the NCS solution uh, is very confusing. Uh, lots of questions in the forum about about that, uh, about all the various things that uh, are mentioned in the statement of the problem. So uh, uh, first, uh, this is a perfect application of the AE form of the Bernoulli equation. I know that uh, particular form is not in the reference handbook, but we've covered it in uh, some lessons here. Uh, you're given, uh, in fact, they uh, actually use, uh, use that sort of approach uh, in the solution. So uh, uh, there's a given head uh, is the difference in the stagnation pressure and the pressure at another point in the flow uh, divided by the specific weight. Uh, however, the head's given in terms of water, and uh, that's where the confusion comes in. Well, how, do, how do we get that in there? And then, of course, the um, uh, almost the perpetual question is, is that they've given you the uh, the, the density rho uh, uh, of air as um, uh, units of, uh, I think it's 0 0.075 pound mass per foot cubed, but, um, well, that is, that is uh, um, pound mass is a unit of mass, but uh, actually, uh, if we're going to use uh, slugs for our mass, uh, which I think is the most, uh, most um, appropriate, uh, then this is not really density, it's really specific weight, okay, it's in really in pounds per cubic foot. Wherever you see a pound, uh, I recommend you consider it uh, a, um, a, a weight and uh, go from there. This happens a lot in the uh, uh, practice exam uh, and in when we'll in the exam itself. Uh, whenever you see pound mass, uh, even though they've labeled it rho, it's really gamma, okay? And that's what you really got. Okay. So a pitot tube measures the difference between the stagnation pressure at one point and the pressure at another point where the velocity of the flow is desired. And this, uh, this type of a problem is uh, uh, very uh, applicable for the AE form. Okay, so if we apply that uh, uh, form here, of course, uh, we typically, uh, there's not a change in elevation, so that term, it never, usually never appears here when you're using the AE form. If you've got a change in elevation, you're probably going to use the uh, civil engineering form. So we've got P0, the stagnation uh, pressure is uh, P plus one half rho air, because the, uh, the uh, working fluid here is air, but they've again given you the pressure uh, in, um, in uh, terms of water. Uh, times v squared. So if we solve for v squared, uh, we'll get 2 p0 minus p over the rho of air. Okay, that is the, the density of air. So we'll need to to make a conversion there from uh, from pounds to slugs. Okay, but uh, you're given that the pressure head is three inches of water. Okay, so what, what does that mean? It just means that the P0 minus P over gamma of water is three inches. Convert that to feet, 0.25, okay? So now you can solve for P0 minus P, uh, gamma of water times uh, 0.25, okay? I'm gonna kind of keep that as we go along here. Okay, so if I substitute that into the equation we had, we have uh, two times the difference in the pressure. So that's gamma of water times 0.25 feet, again, div divided by the density of air. Well, the density of air is the specific weight divided by gravity. Okay, so, uh, and, that, and the gamma of air is what we've been given, 0.075, not the density. Okay, so I've just repeated this particular equation and then taken, it had uh, gamma of air uh, divided by G, so I just brought the G up into the numerator uh, there. So I got 2G times the uh, quantity gamma of water uh, times uh, 0.25 feet divided by the gamma of air. So if we put in uh, 2 times 32.2, the 62.4 pounds a cubic foot for the gamma of water times 0.25 divided by the gamma of air, 
which is the given 0.075 pounds per cubic foot, uh, what we'll end up with is feet squared, second squared is our as our units there, the pounds, see this is where the pounds cancel and um, the uh, foot cubes cancel and so what we've got is uh, in the gravity is uh, feet per second squared and we got the 0.25 feet so that leaves us with the feet squared second squared. Again, always make sure your units come out before you get your calculator out. Okay, well if you multiply all that out you get uh, almost uh, 13,400, take the square root and get 115.74, about 116 feet per second. That would have probably been fine based on the answers that you're given. 116 would have been per, a perfectly good number. And of course, uh, uh, the uh, uh, famous equation for volumetric flow rate, Q equals VA. And so now we got V and uh, it says it's a 12 inch diameter uh, tube. So uh, we will, or uh, a pedo, pedo tube. So we can calculate the area. Well, 12 inches, we're going to need to uh, convert that at some point. We might as well do it now, make it one foot, and we get 0 0.7854. I'm just using uh, uh, these as the decimals in the window of my calculator, just sort of being accurate here. So if we take the 11574, the velocity times this area, we get 90.9 uh, cubic feet per second, which is uh, typically what we like. But here the answers they want is in cubic feet per minute. So multiply by 60 seconds and uh, and get the, the 5450, uh, 5454, which is close and very close to answer C, and you are done. So uh, uh, this is. Um, uh, this this problem did not uh, the solution just took took off in all kind of different directions and uh, and uh, it was very confusing as to how to deal with this uh, uh, the the water the three inches of uh, of water versus the uh, the density of the air uh, say presented uh, a great confusion here and I hope uh, hope I've cleared that up uh, for you okay well as usual uh, thank you for allowing us to help you prepare for this exam.